Learning target 5.11 says I can describe the difference between a strong acid and a weak acid. It also says I know that a strong acid and strong base will combine to create a neutral product. So the difference between a strong acid and a weak acid is that a strong acid completely dissociates, which means to break apart, and a weak acid only does that sometimes. We would say that it partially oops, dissociates. So let's say, for example, you have a beaker of water and you put some HI into it. This HI is going to break apart into H plus and I minus and H plus and I minus and H plus and I minus H plus and I minus. There are no HIs left. It has completely dissociated into H plus and I minus. Now let's say we do the same thing over here. Um, we have HCN, which we have labeled as a weak acid, so we know it only dissociates partially. So if we put this into water, you might see it dissociate sometimes into its ions, H plus and CN minus, but for the most part it's not going to break apart or dissociate. It's going to stay in touch as HCN, even though some of it might break apart. So that's the main difference between a strong acid and a weak acid. Again, that a strong acid completely dissociates, and a weak acid only partially dissociates, which means breaks apart. The second part of this learning target says, I know that a strong acid and base will create a neutral product. And this is an example of sodium hydroxide combining with hydrochloric acid. These are both really dangerous. NaOH, or sodium hydroxide, is very basic, and HCl is a strong acid. However, if we combine these together as the reactants, they'll form two products, NaCl and H2O. And of course, this is basically just salt water. This is a type of reaction called a neutralization reaction. And if you look at the root word neutral, that makes sense that our products here, or NaCl and H2O, are going to be neutral. So you had this strong acid and strong base, but when they combined, you have this neutral products, which is salt water. Now in this individual example, choose the best answer and be ready to explain why. Now it says that in this example, the acid is H2SO4. It's dissolved in water. And when tested, they can't really find any H2SO4 left, a very low concentration. But what they do find is a high concentration of H plus and HSO4 minus. Again, which is the split here between this acid. So we could assume that it must have completely dissociated and if something completely dissociates, it means it's a strong acid.